Hello, I'm Calm Cal. Welcome to another video. In this one, we're going to have a look at this device called the Retro Arcade. It's a six button joystick with built in games. Some people don't like messing around with emulation themselves. It's tricky backing up your own games or trying to find ROMs online can be a bit iffy. Setting up your own hardware and then buying controllers and putting it all together can be expensive in comparison to something like this. This unit was under £20. It's a very simplistic plug and play. It has 145 games built in and boasts 16 bit emulation. It requires batteries and plugs directly into your TV set. So we'll just take it out of the box and have a quick look at it. So let's suck this way. And there we have it six buttons and a joystick, and two additional buttons. I'll try and lift this out. There we go. To one side. Right, so the wires at the back. Oops, sorry. Wires at the back. There's a little turny thing here. That comes out. It looks as though it's got some good suction on here. And it has. Let's just feed this wire through. So there we go. First impressions, they seem a little bit high, but they do press, that's what they're for. Joystick feels a little bit limp, to be honest. The micro switches. The micro switches are nice and clicky, but not much resistance on the joystick itself. Here's the AV lead that plugs into the TV. It's approximately 190 centimeters long. On the base, there's four suction pads and the battery compartments. There's a screw missing here. It takes four AA batteries to power this unit. First impressions then, it's not too bad, especially for the price. So let's get some batteries in here, plug this in and try it out. The on-off switch is on the back where the AV cable comes out. This first screen with the list of games looks terrible. It has splash screens for the games but it just looks so amateur. I feel like I've been robbed. <laughs> but it does get better I promise you. I'll just run through the different screens to show the list of games. So get ready to press pause. Left and right to go page by page and up and down to highlight the correct game and then press start. Reset will take you back to this menu. There's no save states on this device though. I'll show you some gameplay at the end of this. I've played some already. And I will say that the games look and feel very much like the Mega Drive games do. And they all look a hell of a lot better than this first screen, so don't let this first screen put you off. The controls do feel cheap, and for £20 it is. For a plug and play device though, this is pretty good. Being able to place it down on a table with the suction cups, rather than having to hold it, move the joystick and press multiple buttons at the same time, makes gameplay more comfortable. I've bought an AV to HDMI adapter to capture the screen, as the original footage wasn't great. When I recorded the sound on the capture device, the sound is mono, not stereo. Hopefully when I render the video, I can change this to stereo. But I didn't really notice this when I was playing this on my TV set. When you load into a game it does seem slower than normal. This is down to the emulation but gameplay is still good. The controls and buttons are surprisingly responsive even though this is made cheaply. You can see this in the rate of fire when I play Xenon 2. There's no rapid fire on this unit, this is all button pressy action here.
Overall thoughts on this device then, if you want to experience a bit of nostalgia without having to pay out too much, then this is a device to try before you dip your toes into the water and buy a single board computer, case, power supply, memory storage, joy pads, etc. This is the cheaper alternative, just to try things out. The output to the TV isn't great, but it is as it was so to speak. It's very easy to use, there's a good selection of games. You won't be able to play simultaneous multiplayer, but there is enough length on the lead to pass it around to take turns with your friends. For £20 it's a great trip down memory lane, and well spent I think. There is better emulation out there, but that all comes with a price. If you are thinking of building something yourself, have a look at my Build Your Own Console series using Blast 16. This is Mega Drive format as well. I'm Cal, have a good morning, afternoon or good evening, farewell till next time, and I will see you later. Thanks for watching.